Guys, Bitcoin down another 1.58% today, currently at 6,000. 440 are you a young crypto kitten who's panicking out there on the blockchain battlefield or are you a strong crypto bull who's ready to push the line forward and identify the boomers and remove the doomers guys today we'll be talking about what could be the best deals in crypto everything is down in the red blood on the streets and there has to be some good deals out there today we'll be talking about them it's the voice of the blockchain satoshi's Big Cousin, Cryptography's Finest, Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in. Shout out to all the young crypto bulls out there in the blockchain battlefield firing out what's hot out there. Uh, we're definitely looking at some red tag discount events today. It looks like everything is on sale. Today we'll be identifying what could be the top deals in crypto, guys. Bitcoin is down 64.38. Yesterday we looked at the charts and I told you guys what I believed is the low for crypto and, and when it comes to Bitcoin. Uh, let's zoom out here to the year to date and uh, check out the the charts here i believe this is the low back in february okay and it was about 5900 5800 dollars uh you can see we took another dip down in april and that was about 6600 and now we're about you know about the same price range 65 64 so i believe that it could dip down a little closer to the six thousand dollar range but it's hard for me to see it going under 5900 now i could be wrong and we could take another dip but the way i'm looking at things here crypto maniacs i believe that we're approaching uh, some support uh there uh at about five six thousand dollars if uh, you ask me now uh, being that there's blood on the streets, red on the field, there needs to be some uh, deals out here, guys. What are the our favorite coins? What are the deals out here? Let's check out what's going on, okay? Uh, in this case, guys, uh, you know, the focus has always been to stack the bits. If you're a believer for the long gunner, the focus is to stack the bits and continue to stack the bits. So the best thing that we could do is to switch the charts to Bitcoin and see what is moving in uh, relation to Bitcoin, okay? And uh, what's on discount? You can see that Emmer coin and Decentraland are up. Uh, D Decred is up as well. Uh, Decred is a solid coin. We've talked about it uh, here before. They do have a uh, system of governance out there uh, compared to other cryptos. Uh, they're a little bit more advanced in that field. Uh, we'll see how that stack stacks up against EOS' system of governance. But, uh, you know, being that it's up today, I don't think it's a deal. I think that what you should look at is the, you know, the change between 24 hours and see what's on a discount event. Uh, uh, guys, I've been looking at Elastos. I've been looking at Elastos. Elastos looks sexy. Uh, although Elastos, the problem with Elastos now is that it's only traded in some uh, Asian exchanges. Let's check it out. Elastos trading out there uh, only on Huboy. Yeah, Huboy and BCAEX. You know, uh, I think that if this coin was to trade on Binance or a KuCoin or another coin that is more accessible by the Western markets, I think it could boom. Okay, check out Elastos. I'm not picking it up today, but I got my eyes on it. Uh, and I've talked about it before. Uh, let's go ahead and, and, and switch this over to BTC again and see what are the uh, are the deals. Uh, you know, what I like to do in times like this is, you know, I've told you guys before, hold most of your bag in Bitcoin, okay? If you haven't figured that out, you need to have a strong hand and hold it in the bits, guys. Bits runs the show, okay? Uh, if Bitcoin goes down, you'll see that everything follows suit. So the, the leader, the pack leader, the number one gunner that you want to hold is the bits, okay? But besides the bits, okay, if you have a little bit more fiat i would start firing that's me personally but uh besides the bits what are the altcoins that you want to pick up because you know all, although all coins are riskier the reward could be higher okay guys uh ones that i'm looking at uh besides elastos here uh skycoin was another one that i was looking at skycoin i've talked about it before skycoin is trying to build a decentralized internet and they have some hardware as well that they're si uh, selling uh, sky miners as well. I had, you know, I caught my eye. Zillica is another one that caught my eye. Neo is another one that caught my eye. These are all down today and they could be some good red tag discount event sales that you may want to snag up. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Sys coin is another one. That's a good one. Um, Stratus, uh, Tron and ontology, Sia coin, uh, all good deals. Let me see here, uh, on, uh, tradingview.com. Uh, how the charts are looking you can see steam is up steam is up and i was considering buying more steam earlier this week as i saw it take a dip and uh, you could see i mean steam is pretty much at, at some of its all-time lows this year i mean it, it hit an all-time low in april and then it kaboomed back again in uh 
in uh, the late April, early May, uh, not before taking another dip. So Steam could be, uh, you know, I don't like to buy when it's green, but being that Steam is under $2, uh, still about 26,000 Satoshi, uh, you know, it was a steal there at 24,000 Satoshi, you know, if you would have picked it up yesterday. Litecoin, guys, I've been talking about the lights. You know, what's going on with the lights, guys? It seems like it looks like the lights is uh, dimming slowly. I mean, uh, ever since uh, Charlie Lee dumped a bag out there, it looks like everything went down south. But uh, uh, currently trading at 143,000 Satoshi, um, it could be a deal as well. Now, I, you know, I talked about this yesterday. I heard that Litecoin was going to be traded on the DAX, on the NASDAQ. And, um, yeah, I don't know if, if that was true or not. No one verified that. So, you know, that's still a rumor as of late. Okay. Um, you know, one that that's really catching my attention guys is ETH. ETH. The two that are really catching my attention are ETH and EOS. I'm going to be honest with you. ETH right now. I think that a lot of people are abandoning ETH because, you know, this promise with EOS. Okay. And, um, I'm questioning whether ETH and EOS could exist at the same time. Okay. Still a lot of money behind ETH. And uh, they're about to move over to their proof of stake system, okay? And uh, it could be a time now when people are ignoring ETH because of other coins to pick some up, okay? Uh, we see a downward trend. I think it's going to keep dropping. Uh, let's check out EOS. You know, EOS dipped under $10, also down in the red. And uh, maybe another time to start firing. Overall, uh, I believe that the cryptocurrency markets, all of them, including Bitcoin, could continue to take a dip. Okay, they could continue to take a dip, but I've told you that I believe that the low is about right here, $5,800, bucks, 5900 So we're approaching the low. Now, if it breaks that support, okay, and if it goes under that support level, uh, you know, things could get uglier and we can go quickly down to 5000 or maybe even to the $4,000 range. Now, I'm still bullish. I'm still bullish. So I think they would hold uh, because my hypothesis, my theory is, is that there's not as much FUD on the markets as there was back in January and February. After that, you know, kaboom up here, uh, you see the FUD and it dumped like no others. Look at this dump. Uh, you've seen that these two dumps look greater than this dump so we'll see you know we'll see where it heads to so you know we just got to weather the storm make sure you have your storm supplies ready your perishable goods and uh you know weather it out if you can you have more fiat in the chamber start firing at the bits i always recommend having 50 percent of your bag and bitcoin and if not just start firing at all coins uh you know i like i'm considering picking up eth and eos and I'm also considering picking up more steam, although it's in the green today. Uh, just considering just picking up steam on at a low price and delegating it to a bot. Uh, you know, I, I've talked about smart steam before. You could sell votes on the smart steam network. You could delegate and you can actually calculate your revenue. So let's say like you wanted to uh, sell your vote. So you just you have, let's say, you know, a thousand steam power that you powered up. And uh, you wanted to sell without, you know, those votes, you'll be getting about $14 in steam and steam back dollars uh, monthly. And now that, that that it's low, you know, so if things go up and, you know, 10%, 20% in one day, which they could be, this number could easily be over $20. And that's just with a, you know, only a thousand steam. And uh, you could also earn more by delegating it. Uh, you know, I, I, I prefer selling, but some people like delegating. If you're not posting or using your votes, you could put it to work. So uh, for that same thousand steam, you could get a little bit more, about $15 worth of steam back dollars in steam uh, monthly. OK, uh, I have a link down below for smart steam. I believe if you join with the link, you get some sort of a discount. Don't quote me on that, but I believe you do. OK, uh, and I definitely get a kickback. So if you want to help champagne with it, you know, by all means, use the link. I you know, would invite you and I would appreciate it. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, you know, I keep my eyes focused and I'm. Um, Looking for the deals, I believe them to be, you know, ETH looks sexy today, guys. ETH looks sexy, and so does Litecoin, okay? So does Litecoin. Litecoin looks sexy, uh, you know, but is is this the death of Litecoin right now? Because, you know, they haven't done much. They haven't done much ever since Charlie Lee dumped the bag. So, uh, you know, I'm questioning whether to take the risk on Litecoin or not. So right now I'm more attracted to ETH, Steam, and EOS. Uh, maybe even a little NEO. Maybe even let me look at Neo here, guys. Down six point six percent. Neo could be a good one too. 
Neo is approaching its all-time lows too. So Neo, it may be a good time to start firing a Neo. I like holding Neo because of the staking rewards. You get paid a second token for holding the Neo in the Neon wallet. Uh, you get the gas reward, the GAS token, and uh, you know that's okay. Even although the rewards, you know, they're not that lucrative, uh, it's nice to get something for holding the bag. You know, that's why I like holding Steam and uh, Neo. Um, and hopefully e Ether will move over to that proof of stake system soon so that you could uh, earn more ETH for holding them in your wallet. Um, so, yeah, to recap, you know, what are the best deals today? Uh, me personally, I'm looking at Ethereum. Ethereum, I'm looking at NEO and I'm looking at, at Steam. Although it's up on that 1%, you know, I still think being that Steam is still like at $1.70 around there, I think it's a good deal because uh, you could buy it on the low and start delegating it. I don't see it going that much lower. I mean, it could go to $1.50, but I, I, I don't know. I'd be pressed to see it go so low. Um, you could see already it's already back into the green. You know, I think people have already started triggering the buys. Uh, for other coins, uh, you know, I've talked about these coins again uh, before. Uh, you know, the best deals, I mean, D not Decred, it, Elastos. And I talked about this one. Elastos is sexy. I'm not in Elastos because uh, I find it hard to use that Hubi or Exchange or whatnot. Uh, but, you know, that may be something that you may want to look into. And then Skycoin. So Elastos and Skycoin are the two most attractive as far as high risk and then um lower risk coins would be like ethereum and uh maybe i don't know where to say litecoin but you know definitely ethereum and maybe even eos being that it's under ten dollars i know that this video is a little bit all over the place but that's what's going on today it's a little bit all over the place and we got to consider all options right now we got to throw it all on the table ask the questions is this one good is that one good and we need to talk it out and, uh, you know, that's why you see that most of my videos have questions in the titles rather than statement because we're learning here by asking questions. It's through asking questions that we can identify the boomers and remove the doomers, guys. We don't know all the answers, okay, but we get answers by asking questions. So what do you think are the best deals today? Okay, my vote's probably for Ether, okay? My vote's probably for Ether, maybe even EOS, Litecoin, um, NEO, and, uh, you know, if you're scared of the altcoins, continue to get Bitcoin, guys. Bitcoin, in my opinion, guys, you know how I feel about the bits. Boom, the bits. Bitcoin, I'm shooting for a $30,000 Bitcoin by 2019 if the market hits a trillion dollar market cap, guys. And we see Bitcoin's dominance growing today. It looks like people are abandoning the alts. Bitcoin dominance at 40%. Uh, you know, hey. It could be a boom, guys. We could be uh, right around the corner from a kaboom, or we may have to take this little dip down to the you know five thousand dollar range and weather out the storm. For the long gun, I repeat, champagne is bullish for the long gun. Champagne is bullish for the long run. Now, uh, don't let that uh, sway your opinion because you need to make your own opinion. Okay, I need to repeat to you guys that I'm not your crypto daddy. Okay, I'm not an investment advisor. I'm just calling it how I see it. And I'm asking more questions than I'm making statements. I want your responses uh, to my questions and see, you know, through uh, those responses, we can all gather our own opinion and uh, make what's uh, uh, decisions that are best for us. Okay, guys, drop a comment below. It's the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's big cousin, cryptography's finest champagne crypto. Thanks for tuning in.